What's up, everybody? I'm back with another knee-jerk reaction review, and it's going to be on a TV show. I'm trying to make this kind of quick, because I really don't know how to describe it without spoilers, and I'm not trying to give any spoilers. I'm not even going to do that hold-on spoiler type of thing. I'm not doing that. This is a new Netflix show called Brand New Cherry Flavor. I probably should have released this review, and I finished it last week, but again, I was on vacation, and I kind of forgot about it which is hard to forget about because some of the images in this show will stick with you, to say the least. Um, the only way I can really describe it is it's like a, watching like an acid-induced, cat-filled, fever dream of a fucking body horror disaster. Pe I don't even know how to explain it. I, that's another reason I was thinking about hopping on this review and be like, without giving anything away, how do I explain this? Basically... I think this, I haven't seen the trailer. I don't. I just went in blind, so I don't know how much I'm giving away, but it's still, trust me, there's so much more to dig through. You got this girl that has a movie, and this guy that's supposedly supposed to be helping her out basically takes her movie away, cutthroat, steals it. And then what happens next is just a series of unfortunate events. No limited snickets. Um, it just gets crazier and crazier. It's just, it's one of those shows where it is hard to, review because it's just it's one of those you got to watch but I'm here to tell you to at least tell you you need to watch the show if you're a horror fan it's so original and that's why it is hard to review too because it is original you can't you feel like if you're talking about one thing you're sitting there like oh my god well I've never really seen that before so I can't say that whereas it's like dude got one guy got killed with an ice pick or not even ice pick that doesn't happen that often a machete you're like oh I've seen Jason do that a million times when you're like one guy gets killed with blank you're like Oh, damn, like, I can't say that. Like, I gotta say that, because that's kind of rare, you know what I mean? And that's what this whole show feels like. It feels fucking rare. Um, it's not phenomenal, but it's one of those shows that you feel like would be, with all the crazy shit going on, not as well done as it is. There's a little more to it. I'll say that much, too, in, like, the writing and the acting. The acting, very, very well done. Love that about it a lot. Uh, but watch this fucking show, dude. It's on Netflix. It's a limited series. It's eight episodes. There's scenes, like I said, that will stick with you, gross you out, but also you're kind of oddly endeared at times, even when it's nasty, is like the show kind of becomes endeared with its own nastiness. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. Like I said, fucking fever dream of a show. It's fucking dope. Watch it. Watch that shit. Anything else? Uh, shot well, yeah, check. Um, scary, it's not like terrifying, but there's a few creepy-ish moments. It's more like just weird and out there. I don't know. Gotta watch it, though. I enjoyed this show a lot. I will give this show a solid 8.3 out of 10. I loved it. Watch that shit.